All right, great to have you guys back on Explore Like a Pirate's YouTube channel. I'm Michael Matera, uh, author of Explore Like a Pirate, and today's video chat is all about game mechanics. Specifically in designing your game, what game mechanics are you gonna wanna apply on that first game that you're doing? Whether it's a big game, small game, whatnot, what are the right mechanics? And, and, and really busting down that term. What is a game mechanic? you might say. These core mechanics are the gears of the game. What gets them moving? What gets the kids moving through the game? How do they, what do they do? What are they achieving, right? So for me, some core game mechanics that really are embedded in most games that you see that are full production games or your class game are gonna be XP or experience points. These are the points they're gaining throughout the gameplay by doing and interacting with your game world. Uh, the, most of your students are going to be familiar with this and it's just a great one to start with. It's a, it's a nice measure to, to compare other gamers and the gamers themselves like this experience points. Now, perfectly paired with those experience points are levels. So after achieving so many experience points, they should level up. You know, So start your kids on some sort of newbie level and as they earn so many points and you can structure that leveling the way you want. So you know, after 100 points they get to the next level, after 1000 points they get to the next level, whatever you want. But those two are really nice pairings, sort of experience points with levels really helps a game out and there's a lot of things that you can attach to those mechanics, right? So the leveling, with that you could start to have these items, another core mechanic items or badges that give abilities, but maybe you have to be at a certain level to activate its power. This is an old school game concept that's going to be familiar to students, really easy for you to keep track of, and some core components that would be really good, right? So you're going to have your experience points, your levels, and then play with those with these other mechanics like items or badges and leverage that. I think these are three simple ones that get you started and get you thinking about gamifying in your class. I hope they help. Uh, as always, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're a new channel and we're trying to put out videos as much as we can and answer your questions. So if you have any, please you know, feel free to tweet me or there's a link somewhere on this Explore page uh, that'll take you to the, the crew questions and you can kind of post a question for me and I'd be happy to answer it. As always, I hope you're enjoying uh, playing games with people, bringing out playful learning in your classroom. Until next time, take care.